Hey y'all, it's Spiritual Life Coach 43 here to do the collective's midweek reading for today, February 12th, 2020. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment if the video resonates or you enjoy the commentary. If you are a viewer or a subscriber, I appreciate everybody. You are all my huggables and my lovables, and I appreciate everybody for being here. If you want to reach me through email, uh, please know that everything you need is in the description box below. Um, I am available for readings through text, phone, and email. Like I said, everything is below if you need any other information. And as you guys know, for these mixed readings, for the midweek mix, I use various decks. You guys know my um, Oceanic Tarot deck. This one by Jane Wallace is my baby. This is my, my main deck that I will be using. All the cards have been prayed upon. As you guys know, I don't do reversals and I don't do signs at this time. If it resonates, you will know. And if I make any changes about that, I will let you know. YouTube has been really slow lately, even though we love YouTube. And I have been still recording and still uploading and I'm just about caught up. So thank you to all of my viewers and watchers, subscribers, listeners, everybody for staying with me and um, continuing on this journey. As you guys know, I'm a new channel and I love what I do. And I'm here for you. Okay. So let's start with the pre-messages for today. It's been kind of heavy, you guys. It's been really heavy. So I don't know if you can tell my voice, but it's been heavy. I'm getting first look up fives and sevens. Just look those numbers up because I'm getting like a yin yang of a balance of numbers. Now, what came out was the nine of swords. So a lot of you are stressing about something. There's some type of anxiety. Take the higher moral ground, you guys. Stop stressing. De-stress. Because it will affect your sleep or your dreams or it already has. So let's not stress. Just stay in a positive vibration anytime your mind wants to wander to something negative or depressing. Five of Swords came out in the Five of Wands. The Five of Swords, it's just like, I want you guys to communicate clearly. It was a lot. And I had to write all this down because it was so much. Be assertive. You can stand your ground and say what needs to be said. But um, like I said, be assertive, not aggressive. Use your words and competition the five of wands so somebody is competing for your job for your lifestyle for something they want that you have i don't feel like anybody can compete with anybody because when god has something for you that's for you okay but i do get envy and jealousy and i don't like that j word i don't like to use it i don't like to say it but we have to call a thing a thing okay like ayana vanzette says call it a thing it is what it is so communicate very clearly that's coming through you guys also got the Ten of Wands. So remember, Tens are completions and celebrations, but they also are other messages as well. So you're going to be celebrating something because you've completed lessons learned or you passed the test, you've completed a project, something you've learned and you've done well and you will be able to celebrate this. But it starts with saying no and setting some boundaries because some of you guys have just too many responsibilities at work or at home or in your relationship or with your friendships and you have to set those boundaries because if you don't, it will cause you to stress and it could be why some of you guys are stressing and dealing with anxiety. Usually I start with my Oceanic Tarot deck. Today I'm inclined to start with my Love and Light deck. So all the decks are below as well. Okay. What came out was connecting with the living water and I'm going to read it for you guys. Okay. It says the sea belongs to him for he made it. His hands formed the dry land too. This is Palm chapter 95, verse 5 in the Bible. So a lot of you need to take spiritual baths, release any negative thoughts, release any worries to God, drink more water. I know it's cold out for a lot of places, but drink some water, have a sea salt bath. If you have goldfish or any type of fish in aquarium, feed your fish, pray, and just um, listen. If you can't get to like a lake or a beach, then definitely like, be spiritual at this time. Light a candle. Say a prayer. Drink, like I said, more water. And definitely like listen to waves. Listen to water. Oceanic music or things of that nature. I feel like a lot of you are creating a happy home. Um, being by water is going to bring you some more peace. And just know that a lot of you are going to move. A lot of you need to declutter. You need to let go of what doesn't serve you because you're moving towards... A better place like you and that's what you want and sometimes you have to let the old go 
you know, out with the old and with the new. Let the old go so that you can move forward to the new. This card says a happy home. So a lot of you are going to achieve this and God bless you and I'm happy for everybody. This is what we all want, right? It says, my people will live in safety, quietly at home. They will be at rest. Isaiah chapter 32, verse 18 in the Bible. It's time to move towards peaceful times. But I'm seeing a lot of us are struggling with a lot of drama right now. A lot of conflict. But let's see what the cards have for us. I kind of want to do the Celtic cross today. But I don't know if I'm going to have time. So we'll see. Because I don't want the videos too long to where they're taking so long to load. So I kind of do want to do the Celtic cross. So if you have, yeah, I'm going to do the Celtic. So I may not do as many card decks. I don't know. Then again, I may. We'll see what happens. Because you guys know this is when I do all the decks. So once again, you guys know I don't do reversals or signs. If it resonates, you'll know. Um, let's begin. All the cards have been meditated upon. I meditated even more today than usual. So for the collectors for today, February 12, 2020. If you have a question, ask it now. It will be in the fourth position and I will call it out. The first card represents you and your present situation. This second card is what's helping you and that's what's crossing you. The third one is the best that you can expect in this situation. This is your answer, number four. Five is what's happening in your future. Six is past or fears. Seven is the action you can take or how you see yourself. Okay. Eight is what's happening in your environment with family and friends. Nine is hopes and or fears. And 10 is the outcome. I will start with the bottom. This is the overall message. Okay. Uh, Queen of Swords. Oh, I love her. And she's been on my mind. Thank you, God. Okay. So a lot of you are cutting the crap. She does not suffer fools. She does not like drama or conflict. You cannot lie to this girl. She is not the one. And remember when we talk about male and female, boy and girl, man, guy, whoever. Take it how it resonates because we're talking about energy and we all have masculine and feminine. Okay. She does not suffer fools. She or he could be an independent parent. Um, they see things for what it is. Okay. And I like her a lot because you can't get past her. She stands her ground. She stands in her power. And that's what is being asked for you guys to do. Okay, so do that for sure. What's happening in your present situation? What's representing you? Eight of Cups. Beautiful. So a lot of you are moving forward and you're ready for this move. It could be, like I said, that home, that dream house, or just the next home. It could be in a relationship, in a job situation, a family situation. So a lot of you are ready for change and you're ready for it. Do it. Eight represents change and you're ready for it. So don't doubt yourself. What's going to help you, what's crossing you? Beautiful. King of Wands. So somebody's coming in. It could represent you. Somebody's coming in is what I believe to help you. Work with unconventional people. Do not be afraid to work with people you normally wouldn't because I feel like it's going to flourish and be prosperous. So you have to network. Okay, be open to what's new. Okay, the best that you can expect from right now is the high priest. Stick to your morals, stick to your tradition, stick to your value. God, school, stability, friendship, family, spirituality. You will get the wisdom. Listen to your wisdom because it's coming in. Listen to that intuition. If you're going back to school, you will get the lessons that you need. If you are teaching, you will be led to the lessons that you need to teach in the different um, structure, you will be led to what you need, okay? Stick to your morals, values, and traditions. And um, keep learning. Keep learning because that's how you grow. If you had a question, this is your answer. This is the seven of cups. Like I said, those sevens. Fives and sevens. Okay, so a lot of you have a lot of possibilities and new options coming in. Could be work-related or with love or romance or just opportunities you're looking for jobs whatever you have some wonderful positions on the table you have some wonderful offers coming in and some are not so this card is specifically let me know use discernment because all of the options are not all good okay but some of them are so you have to weigh the pros and cons and uh, look at everything look at the paperwork who you're dealing with what makes you happy weigh everything okay like yin and yang you guys need to like balance things out okay so what's happening in your future and what's next for you? Beautiful. The Nine of Cups. So a wish is coming true. So something that you want, you're about to have. So don't be afraid to look forward, to ask for what you want. Ask your angels. Ask God. They're all here to help you. 
this is a magical card and very good, very good energy, which is beautiful. Thank you, God. I, I really meditated on these cards more than I ever have, I believe, today because you guys need this. I'm seeing a lot of cups on the table, so major changes and some wish fulfillments, some things that you're looking forward to is coming in, which is beautiful. Thank God. Thank heavens for this. Thank your angels um, and your entire spiritual family with God, number one. Um, this is the past and fears, two of pentacles. So some of you have a decision to make, could be between two people, could be between job offers, it could be between, um, just two things. And it's a major decision. You need to make it look at the long term benefits over short term gains. Okay. Like I said, look at that paperwork very carefully. Okay. The action you can take and how you see yourself right now beautiful the six of wands i love this and i did see this card when i was shuffling i was hoping this would have so much more better energy thank you god for sending the love and light so this is twin flame soulmate cards for me when i see all the ones the all the wands represent 11s this is a success this is a very victorious card this is brilliant success so whatever you're moving towards it's good you're going to make a really good decision and this is a happiness card for me this also reminds me that somebody missed you from the past you guys have worked hard also. And what happened is you're about to be acknowledged for it. You're about to get the payment for it. You're about to get some incentives. Things are going to work out and really flourish. So just keep going. You deserve it. This is a time of receding. So like I said, thank God for that. Okay. So you see yourself as a success. That's the way to see yourself in that positive mind frame. Stay in that high vibration. <clears throat> okay. So what's happening in the environment or with people around you is the tower. Not surprised. I mentioned this off offline when I was shuffling. Somebody's going through that tower moment. So you have to let go of the old, like I said, to bring in that new. So whatever had to fall, just know it had to fall. Look at the ship. It's on fire. It's being struck by lightning. The waves are crashing. It's going down. But understand this. You're moving from this little dinky ship to a beautiful, new, beautiful boat, new home, new car, new address, new job, new situation. The next relationship, you're moving to better times. Embrace that, okay? Embrace what's new because whatever had to fall, it had to end, okay? So that you can start with a new, fresh beginning, okay? Let it go. Don't go down with the ship. God has a better boat for you, okay? So let it fall. You will build stronger and taller and better and wiser and smarter. Take your lessons with you. Hopes or fears? Five of Cups. So some of you guys are sad about what you lost. Some of you um, are dealing with bereavement, which is a death, literally. And may God rest whoever soul that this refers to and give your family and friends and fans strength. There's comfort in prayer. There's comfort in God. There's comfort with your angels. There's comfort and peace knowing that your person is safely with God. Okay. And the angels and in heaven. There's a right way to grieve. Do it the right way, you guys. There's help. Reach out. And just know that you're going to heal. You are going to heal. And you have support. There's a lot of cups here. So a lot of people don't know or don't think they have the support. Reach out. It's around you. There's friends, family, ministers, psychics, um, books. There's a lot of things to help you. Go to the Bible. Go to God, number one. Stay prayed up, you guys. I'm getting that very strong in this reading. Okay, and you're going to heal. So if it was a breakup, somebody left you feeling sad, somebody departed or somebody um, separated from you, ghosted you, you're going to be fine. Keep going. You have some beautiful things coming in for you. Take your lessons is what I'm getting. Your outcome, seven of wands. Like I said, that seven, those sevens and those fives are there. Um, endurance. They want you to stand. Spirit is asking you to stand in your courage, stand in your strength. You're stronger than you know communicate very very clearly you may have to stand up for somebody who may not be strong enough to stand up uh, for themselves so be a friend and also you may have to stand up for a relationship or protect one always use your words okay be assertive not aggressive speak clearly stand your ground say what needs to be said but stand in your courage you're stronger than you know stand in that queen of wands energy okay that's your overall energy that's your overall message is to stand in your strength do not suffer fools. Don't let people lie to you. 
disrespect you. None of that. Say what needs to be said. Let go who needs to be let go. You know. Okay. So let's get some love messages. I know Valentine's Day is later on this week. So happy Valentine's to all the Valentines out there. And if you're not a Valentine's or don't celebrate, show some love to your family, friends, and pets. And yourself, of course. And to the to spirit. And always do that. Messages for the collectives for today. February 12th, 2020. I just dropped one of my flowers, you guys. <laughs> the blue ones. You know, I'm going to leave them down there. Let's keep the blue and purple ones down there. We'll go with the pink ones for now. All right. Messages for the collectives. Four or as many as you think we'll need, spirit. Please show us what's coming in for love for right now. True love's coming in. Oh, yes. It came out with past life relationship. Like I said, somebody missed you and they want you back. Well, this when I see past life, this is a soulmate relationship for me. True love, beautiful. You guys, this is going to be a romance of a lifetime. Somebody's going to take you out on dates and have fun with you and spend some time with you and just kind of give you the romance that you actually deserve. They're going to court you. And remember, you guys, there's a difference between being chased and being pursued. We're grown. It's time to be pursued. People need to say what they want. Past life relationship. So this is from the past life or from your childhood, childhood, elementary, middle, high school, college days, back in the day. Somebody from back in the day has you on their mind and they feel like you were their true love and you've known each other before in a past life as well. So um, beautiful. They're coming back. Somebody's coming back through. So don't be surprised if you get that text, that phone call, that email. And the same, make the effort. So if you're single and you're ready to mingle, go ahead and flirt. Um, you could say yes if you choose to. Remember, always use your own discernment. Listen to your intuition, God, Jesus, angels, spirit guides, family, friends, and ancestors. But know this great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And at the bottom of the deck, we have religious factors. Stay prayed up, you guys. Stay close to your traditions and your values is what I'm getting. And don't ever compromise your religious beliefs. You always stay close to God no matter what. You're definitely calling in your soulmate is what I'm seeing. And they're coming back. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. And it's okay to have different upbringings. But you need to discern or use discernment when you're deciding like, does this person's religious paths and mine coincide with each other? Does that go together? Does that fit? Does that work? And it doesn't have to be the same, but the main part has to be, should to me, should be the same. Okay, God, angels, those things should be the same. Because you can pray anywhere. But um, that's beautiful. Let's get some Lover's Oracle as well. Thank you, Romance Angels, for today for the Collectors, February 12th, 2020. Messages for the Collectors. I haven't used these in a while. Feels good. Okay, I'm liking the energy better now. Messages for the collective for today, February 12th, 2020. Wow, that flew out. That one flew out. <laughs> one more. Okay. The bottom. I'm going to start with the bottom. And it says, Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are, and your relationship will magically transform. So some things you, you know, you compromise with and the things you don't, you don't have to. Um, the first one that came out, this one fell. I do take them off the ground. If it came out and I saw it, I'm taking it. It says, look inside yourself. Examine what's causing you to feel this way. So some of you guys are in your emotions, in your feels, but you will have peace. Stick close to water. Stay close to God. Close to God. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. Absolutely. I definitely agree with that. And surrender came out. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. And this is what I've been saying through this whole reading, right? Let go of the, the past, let the tower fall, whatever. Out with the old and with the new, right? And to stand in your power and your courage and your strength. You guys, that's the power card. If you can see it, I'm sorry if it's blurry. But you instinctively know what's right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. See, decisions have to be made. You guys have to use your, your discernment. Okay. All right. Um, let's get, I'm, I'm getting, let's get an angel card. Angels, let's get 
a message for the collective. Sometimes I save it for last, but I'm feeling like we need one now. Messages for the collective for today, February 12th, 2020. One or whatever you feel is best. Spirit. I'll take it. Big happy changes. Yes, indeed. A lot of movement. A lot of beautiful things are coming in for you guys. Celeb you will have some reasons to celebrate, okay? And celebrate yourself. Celebrate your life. Celebrate your family, your friends, loved ones. Any blessings you have and the blessings that are to come. You guys have some major moves, major changes coming up. And I'm loving this energy much better. I will save the bottom. I usually show it, but I'm going to save the bottom for later. For the end. I'll save the bottom for the end. Let's go with... Um, some messages for career and life purpose. Life purpose and career. Messages for the collective for today, February 12th, 2020. What career or changes or options they have in career and life purpose? Help them, spirit, please. So far, what came out was um, oh, wow, time to decide. So this reading is all about letting go of the past and making decisions. Make a decision based on your heart's desires. You guys need to focus on what you want, what you need, what makes you truly happy, what satisfies your soul, how are you pleasing God, and balancing your life. Any other messages, Spirit? I'll take it. These two came out together. Protect it and you're on the right path. So God and Jesus, the angels, they're protecting your path as you change careers or follow your life purpose, but you guys are on the right track. Okay. Seven. So seven of pentacles. Um, I don't think that one came out today, but you guys did get a seven. I think of wands or swords. One of them. I think it was wands, but, um, let me double check. Cause I still have it out. You guys got the seven of wands. Yeah, you did standing your courage and standing your power, but you're protected. So just know, um, you're safe and you're supported while you make these changes in life and in your career and life purpose. Okay. And also you're on the right track. You're you're going in the right direction, okay? So keep doing everything you're doing because it is working and it's going to work. At the bottom of the deck, we have um, energy healing. So a lot of you are going to be like yoga instructors, um, energy healers. You may even start an exercise program, meditation. Some of you guys will start actually doing oracle cards or um, tarot. You guys may start doing decks of your own, learning, growing, expanding your wisdom into the spiritual realm. Some of you guys can actually... Um, just be helpers is what I'm getting. Helpers in life. Your natural energy healing abilities are an important part of your life purpose. So a lot of you are, are moving towards that way. Some of you will even start praying more, meditating more, and that is the right way. I love that these four are together. It just feels so right. And it's just time to make some major decisions in your life, okay? And don't be afraid. Go forward. Do what you're supposed to do. Okay, let's get... Um, let's get a, a message from my earth magic deck and i only want one just one message for this reading for today for the collective february 12th 2020 submerged so a lot of you guys feel like you guys feel that anxiety is coming back up you guys feel like under pressure about something at work or something is due or some big presentation a project something's going on in your life where you feel submerged but just know you're not going to stay there Okay, here's the ceremony card at the bottom. So this is like to stay prayed up to me. This is like to talk to your angels and to meditate, like I've been saying, because you are doing it right. You are on the right track. You're on the right path. And God is saying, yes, keep going that way. But you still have to make some decisions. You won't feel so submerged. You won't feel that pressure. It's going to alleviate. Okay, alleviate. So it's going to leave. That's what I'm getting. Alleviate. You will be alleviated. Okay. You will have a new start. Beautiful. And I'm actually doing good on time, surprisingly enough. Okay. Let's um, get some empowerment messages from Spirit, please. This is my Magical Times deck that I love. And it looks like this on the back. Look at that. Beautiful, right? Empowerment messages for the collective for today. February 12th, 2020. Messages for the collective, please, for today. And for this reading, what do they need to know the most 
I get a lot of strength in these myself, and a lot of people love these. I see one wanting to fall. I'm going to take it. Nature. So spend some time in nature. Like I said, that water. Breathe the fresh air outside, you guys. Um, it says sometimes all you need to do is go outside. Breathe the fresh air to remember who you are and where you want to be. So focus on your goals and your dreams. Just connect with nature. Connect with water. Connect with spirit. Get that balance in life. And appreciate all your blessings. Feel blessed. Appreciate everything around you. The animals, the trees, the birds, the leaves. Just everything. Oh, wow. Because major change is coming. You guys got the change card. It fell, but I'm taking it. Um, it says you are transforming. Let go of the past. See, that keeps coming up. To so release the past. Let go of the past. Embrace the light and the joy of this new day. Major changes are coming. Don't focus on what you can't change. Don't focus on negativity. Focus on positive things. Positive, beautiful things are coming, you guys. Okay? Eliminate the negatives. Focus on the positive. Focus on what you can change. Stay in a high vibration. I'm taking one more. One more. One more for the collectors. One more. One more main message. Perfect. This says, happiness. Yes, we're moving towards happier times. A lot of you need to give yourself permission to be happy and to laugh and to find beauty in everything. There's blessings and lessons. You can still be happy even if the situation is not perfect. Immense delight can be found in the smallest of things. Cultivating fluttering moments of joy. Look for those reasons to laugh, to be at peace, to enjoy life, laughter, love, self-love. Do kind gestures for others. Call your mom more. Call your dad more. Call your friends, your family, your loved ones just to say, I miss you. I love you. Good to hear your voice. Send a card. Do a kind gesture. But be happy and give yourself that permission to be. Even if things are imperfect. Because they're going to improve. You guys have a major change on this table. Letting go of the past. Letting go of what, what you don't need. What's old. Standing in your power. Standing in your courage. You have that strength. God has given that to all of us. But we come into it when we come into it. When we learn and gain wisdom and listen to our intuition. Learn lessons and don't repeat old patterns. Okay? So, let's conclude with the bottom of the angel deck, which I set aside. And I haven't even read it yet. Be assertive. So, then I want you guys to use your words. Be assertive, not aggressive. You guys got big, happy changes coming. Some amazing changes are coming but it's time to make some major decisions. This has been a really beautiful reading. And I, like I said, I meditated and prayed over this reading, I think more than any other one because it needed it. The energy was just so low and, but it turned out so beautiful. I couldn't have asked for any, anything more than what the angels gave me. And I was able to even do my um, Celtic or Celtic cross. I think it's called the Celtic cross, but um, just know that um, you're all loved. Okay. Communicate clearly. Thank you all for being with me. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And have a very blessed day. Happiness, peace, love, joy, blessings, and abundance to you all. And happy Valentine's Day to each and every one of you. You're loved every day, not just on the holidays that remind us to love each other. Bye, y'all.